I've always been involved with two wheels. I started on motorcycles uh, when I was a kid. I raced motocross for a few years. That's what's led me to today, you know, and the passion for cycling as well. Dating back to about early 2000s, there was a, a publication that I was reading regularly, Race Car Engineering, and Henske Racing Shocks was noted in there numerous times in different articles, and I was pretty intrigued with some of the stuff they were doing and, and some of the fresh approach they were taking to solving suspension problems. We made some contacts actually at a NASCAR race about five years ago and got introduced to uh, Dylan and Jose. That was really the big, uh, the big start of the relationship and also the biking kind of culture here at Penske Shocks. Five years ago, in our endless quest to improve mountain bike suspension, we looked for inspiration from the exceptionally demanding world of Formula One racing, specifically Penske. One of the things about Penske is they're, they're completely focused on being a racing company. So what we're doing with Penske is leveraging all their R&D resources and turning that into almost an extension of our own R&D capabilities. Jose is very in tune with, with how mountain bike suspensions work and, and what he needs, needs them to do. Um, you know, that was a contribution uh, from Trek, was them steering us how to uh, change some of the things we're doing and repackage them and to get them to uh, achieve some of those demands um, that, that he was after. Penske did a lot of the initial testing on their own to try to get the technology to where they felt it should be. And so I flew out to Reading and that was the first time I got to experience Regressive and immediately could appreciate the potential the technology had. The next step, instead of analyzing things with a computer for six months to make sure it's gonna work, um, we very quickly went into prototyping and actually just trying it. The testing came down to multiple test sessions. And after that, we got to the point where we had the design pretty dialed, working the way we wanted. And so it was in early 2013 when we presented it to Fox. Penske Racing Shocks does not mass produce shock absorbers. We only supply a very high end, low volume sort of supplier. What Fox does is mass produce high quality shock absorbers and do it well. Fox took the design we came up with and uh, refined it to implement it into production to really refine the, the feel and the right quality of the damper in motion. And just the combined effort just has produced an outstanding shock. So the neat thing about the relationship between Penske and Trek is that we've only just scratched the surface. I mean, regressive technology helped with one compromise that was there in mountain biking. But there is a whole world of other technologies that we get, not only from Formula One, but from all the markets we work in.